Hello everyone, my name is Katherine Riley. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at Swarthmore College and a class of 2010 graduate. Today, I hope to provide you with an understanding of my field of research, analytical chemistry, and I would like to share with you how I have found renewed passion for my field in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. Analytical chemistry is one of several subdisciplines of chemistry. At its core, it involves the separation, identification, and quantification of chemical species. Those could be atoms, small molecules, biomolecules, or particles. This is actually quite broad. This field not only enables measurements done in the other subdisciplines of chemistry, but also in a wide variety of other disciplines, including biology, physics, engineering, medicine, agriculture, and food science. It even has applications in the social sciences and humanities. For example, analytical chemistry can be used to date a set of artifacts found at an archaeological site, perhaps by analyzing the presence of certain metals, like cobalt. Or it could be used to determine whether a painting is an authentic Picasso or a forgery based on the pigments used to create the painting. If you have ever spent time looking at a food label, Analytical measurements have been used to validate the fat, sugar, or vitamin content of the food. Beyond the efforts to detect and quantify chemical species, analytical chemists think about how to prepare samples and minimize bias in our analyses. If you wanted to know, for instance, the sugar content in your jar of peanut butter, you can't simply stick the peanut butter into an instrument and have it spit out an answer despite what many crime shows on TV might have you believe. Instead, you must spend a lot of time and great care isolating the sugar from the rest of the ingredients in the peanut butter. These are some of the questions that analytical chemists answer. For me, the real fun of analytical chemistry is when we can translate our work into useful tools for everyday consumers. A classic example of an analytical technique that is used by millions of people worldwide every day is a blood glucose meter. If you or someone you know is diabetic, then you have likely seen a glucose meter like this. With a simple prick of your finger, you can obtain a value of your blood glucose levels. As I have seen in my own family, this is a life-saving device. But how does it work? Inside of the test strips are actually tiny electrodes. If we open up a test strip, we can see those electrodes on either face of the interior of the strip. When you apply a blood sample to the specified area of the test strip, a biochemical reaction occurs that sends a signal through these electrodes to the meter. The meter converts this signal into a blood glucose value. This process is a miniature version of electrochemistry, which is an analytical technique that can be used to monitor chemical reactions and quantify the amount of a chemical in a sample. The COVID-19 pandemic has placed extraordinary challenges in front of us all. I feel humbled and inspired by the ways in which people have maintained connections with one another and perhaps have renewed connections with the natural world around them. I feel humbled and inspired by the scientific and medical advances that enable us to detect the virus and for the ongoing work to develop a treatment. I feel humbled and inspired by stories of our medical workforce, grocery store workers, truck drivers, law enforcement officers, cleaning and environmental services staff, and all other essential employees who are making real and brave and scary sacrifices for the greater good. I also feel humbled and inspired by the ways in which this pandemic has put on full display some of the real and scary challenges that are facing our world and our country, from inequities in our healthcare system, to severe economic disparities, to lack of clear and consistent guidelines and leadership about how best to slow the spread of the virus. You may be wondering, how could one draw inspiration from this devastating moment in our history or renewed passion? This pandemic has not only highlighted for me these big picture problems, but also some of the challenges in the field of analytical chemistry. Having spoken to some of my students who have undergone COVID testing upon their return home, 
it is clear to me that we need less invasive ways of collecting samples from patients. And along those lines, we need more sensitive tests so that we need less sample altogether. We need more rapid diagnostics so physicians can make timely recommendations to their patients. And we need more affordable testing so that all those patients who need to be tested can do so regardless of healthcare coverage. It can be easy in my day-to-day -day work with students in the research lab to forget about the impact of my field, but these are the questions that analytical chemistry can help answer. And so in the face of this pandemic, I find myself grateful, grateful for a renewed passion for my field. And I feel humbled, humbled that there's still so much to learn and so much work to do. And I feel inspired, inspired because there's great opportunity that lies in front of us all. Thank you.